So we are here in week number three in Atlanta, and yeah, it's here we go again. A team we have no success against so far in this series. 0-3 lost the uh, opening day just two weeks ago to them. And let's see if we can figure this team out. But before we get going, we have some news here. Christian McCaffrey contract up. We're going to sign him to a new five-year deal worth about $85 million. So he is on board. And then Cam Newton, we're going to try to offer here three years, around $93 million. Obviously, quarterbacks nowadays making that those big numbers. And he wants a better bonus. So we'll have to look at that uh, probably after this game going into the next week of the bye. But first, in Atlanta, no success. Like I said, no success against this team. We got to get this uh, – off our back here. We got we got to get a victory here against Atlanta. Do not want to go one and two and already have two losses to them in the first three weeks. So here we go. We're going to have to do it on the road and let's get this done. So Dixon with the return on makes a juke move. He'll be around the 28 yard line. And that's what KM and company will come out. Obviously a solid week last week against the Lions. Very dominant victory. But this is a whole different story. This is a uh, this is going to be a different type of game, division game, so you know it's going to be always probably crazy, but a team we haven't beaten yet in this series, so always makes it even more interesting. So here we go, second and 12, Cam Blitz coming. He's going to dump this one outside to McCaffrey with that new contract, newly signed contract. Definitely make sure we uh, get him under uh, wraps. That is for sure. Don't want to allow him to hit free agency. Here, here comes Gus Edwards. He'll run on up the right up the middle, six yards, first down, and he's up to the 43-yard line. So second and eight here. Cam looking. Watch out. Blitz coming. And he goes down for the sack. So Atlanta already starting to show that pressure that they seem to get on us all the time. So here we go. Third and 16. And we got to watch out. Just a four-man rush. Cam steps up in the pocket. Goes down the seam to DJ Moore. He cannot hang on to the ball. That'll be incomplete. So Atlanta forces a punt. And here comes Matt Ryan. And just guy we can't seem to figure out. That is for sure. And let's see if we can figure him out in this ball game. Second and seven. He'll pick up around five yards there. This is Calvin Ridley, and that'll be close to a first. And it'll bring up a third and three. More single back is going to be Freeman. They're going to go to him. And Luke Keekley comes through with a perfect tackle. I think Burns could have maybe made a play as well. But we make the stop, force a punt. And really, I think we got we have to almost pick up some points first, as that's going to be well over the mark for DJ Moore. I mean, if we can get on the board first, that's what we want. We got to get some momentum rolling. We did it last game, obviously, against them in week one, 14-3. We got out to that nice lead and let it go. But, you know, if we can get out the lead here, we have to get something going here as Cam picks up the first down with his legs up to the 44-yard line. But then we're going to run into a third and 11. Cam in the pocket. Watch out, linebacker is going to knock that one away. Rough start here for Cam through the air. One of five, 12 yards, another punt. And here comes Atlanta's offense. So from the 20, Ryan just sitting back in the pocket. Has a man open downfield. That's going to be Calvin Ridley who just lit us up in week one. He absolutely destroyed us. Picks up 30 yards there. So from the 50, they're going to try a run. That's not going to work at all. So Freeman is stopped in the backfield. You got Lawrence Ogunjobi right there to make that stop. And it's going to bring up a third and 13. See if we can get some pressure here on Ryan. Nope. Wide open receiver down the field. It's going to be Sanu. Missed tackle there by Del Pitt. Allows Sanu to pick up a few extra yards. So Ryan perfect so far. First down. Atlanta driving here at the 24. Now Freeman on the carry. Going nowhere. Nice job by Brian Burns. Fuller coming up there making the stop. And brings up another third and long. Which seems like Atlanta this drive is just picking up. So Ryan Blitz coming. He's going to get rid of it on the screen pass. And it's going to work out perfectly. And they're going to pick up the first down. Great play call. Great blocking. Del Pitt couldn't get there in time. Finally makes a stop. But that's a first down. And now in second and 14. Muhammad Sanu with the catch. Touchdown. Just wide open. And Atlanta goes right down the field. Something we are just absolutely used to. Seen it so many times. They take the lead 7-0, and now we really need an answer to come back, and Keanu Neal just lays out McCaffrey. That's amazing. It wasn't a fumble, because that's usually what happens, but luckily he got away with that one. So third and 11, Cam looking in the pocket. It's going to take off, and he's going to use that power to run over the defender. Very risky move, especially being Deion Jones, but trying to pick up that first down. I don't want to slide down and get the punt. Doing what we can. First down. Move the chains. 
And now McCaffrey with the carry. He'll pick up maybe around four or five yards there. I'll give him five. We got at least one more play here before the end of the quarter. Second and five. Cam dumps this one off to Greg Olson. First down. We're up to the 50. So we're driving the ball here. Trying to tie this game up here as we get into the second quarter. So we're going to go to McCaffrey. Nope. It's going to be an RPO. We're going to give it to Samuel. Who makes the juke move? He's off to the races. Nobody's going to be able to catch him. And that's exactly what we need. 50-yard touchdown to Curtis Samuel. He had the one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. The RPO worked out perfectly. Makes this nice juke move here. And, yeah, see you later. And uh, Debo, the rookie, just overplayed that one. And with Samuel's speed, see you later. He is gone. Tie this ball game up, and that's, that's what we needed. So now what can our defense do? Ryan going up top in coverage. And Del Pitt probably should have had that one picked off. Cannot bring it down. That's going to be incomplete. So second and ten. Ryan looking wide open is Charles Clay. Catch first down. Give him 17 yards. Matt Ryan just on target today. Six of seven, 110 and a touchdown here so far. And we still got a whole, uh, you know, three quarters pretty much. As a missed tackle there as Freeman slowed it down. Kind of messed up the tackle attempt and he's gone. 58 yards for the touchdown. So it looked like we had him stop, but he kind of almost stopped running. Ran by him and Freeman then took off with the acceleration and Atlanta... Just like that, answers back, takes the lead right back, 14-7. Just something about this team. We just doesn't, things just don't seem to go right. It just seems like these type of games, something happens, and we just cannot seem to, you know, get any luck. Trying to change that around, but right now it's not looking too good. Second and 21, make it even worse. As Cam goes down, Tack McKinley right in there for the sack. Make it a third and 30. And obviously not really going to probably pick this one up. But Cam looking. He does have a man, though. And it's going to be Henry Roggs. Baby True Fon on the wheel route. And he has the first down all the way down to the 18. Third and 30. And we pick it up. Huge play there. Unbelievable. Maybe that's a momentum swing. So second and one. Go to Edwards on the ground. He runs over the defender for the touchdown. Unreal. Looked like it was going to be a punt. Great pickup on third down and running it in for the score. Instead of Atlanta with the ball, you know, being able maybe to go up two scores, we just pick up those huge plays there, and we have tied this ball game up at 14 all. We just need the defense to get going here. Second and six, going nowhere. Nice stop. That's going to be Shaq Thompson there. Nice job, uh, Kandichi, actually, there as well. So it brings up a third and eight. Can we get Atlanta off the field here on third down? Ryan looking. Pressure coming in. Keekley's going to knock that one away. So we finally, finally get a stop there. Slow down this Atlanta offense. And now gives our uh, team here a chance to get something here before halftime. Five, five minutes left here in the second quarter. So third and three. Cam looking, trying to find something. He has some room in the pocket. He's going to find his receiver, Curtis Samuel, who has the catch across the middle. And that's plenty for another first down. Move the chains. And we're up to the 33. First and 10. Cam, play action. Looking. Has a man open. And that is going to be caught by Greg Olson up to the 48-yard line. So it looks like the slow start. Uh, Cam actually started one for five. And since then, he's been... Uh, eight for nine, looking good. Is McCaffrey with the run, looking good as well. Up to the 32, give him 16 yards. So it looks like we've uh, found something here against this Atlanta defense. As we get the two-minute warning, we got a third down, third and five. Cam looking, trying to find something he had, maybe a McCaffrey, but well overthrown. Just not even close there. That's going to be incomplete. But it's going to put us in field goal range here. So this will be about a 44-yarder. Godot's kick is going to be up. Perfect right down the middle, and we take the lead, 17-14. Now this is going to be dangerous. Can we stop Ryan in a two-minute drill here? First and 10, and we get the sack. Noah Spence getting in there, bringing down Matt Ryan. That's what we need, some pressure, knocking him back to the 18-yard line, and maybe with that they don't even attempt to do anything, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Third and 17, just going to run it with Freeman. And now with a minute and two seconds here, we have a, a shot to pick up some more points. Cam looking, first and ten, is going to throw it. He's going to have Curtis Samuel, who will get out of bounds. And took a hit out of bounds as well. I'm surprised that wasn't a flag there. 
So third and ten, though. We're going to pick up another first down here to Curran Samuel. He has been the guy in this ball game, just picking up some nice third down conversions. So he stopped the clock there, 34 seconds. Cam looking around, first and ten. Flag on the play. He's going to throw it. That's going to be incomplete intended for Samuel. Flag is going to be offensive holding. That's going to knock us back uh, to our own 43-yard line. So the rookie Trey Smith picks up a key penalty there. And now first and 20, Cam looking, and he's going to go down. Sack, nobody really opened down the field. And with that, we'll just get to halftime. Don't want to risk anything else. We tab the lead right now and looking a lot better. I mean, we started this time. We started off a little slow, and we've really uh, played well there in the final uh, half of that second quarter and then taking the lead now 17-14. to 14. As we go around the league here at halftime, check out some other games going on. As we go to Kansas City and uh, we got Los Angeles, these are teams we will see in the next two to three, four weeks. So that's a good game. Right now, 10-7, Los Angeles, both teams 2-0. Oh. We'll see these teams coming up, and they're some dominant teams, that is for sure. Uh, we got a tough schedule coming up. Uh, really tough. Pittsburgh and the Giants. Giants, 28-13. Case Keenum, though. So they don't even have uh, – they got Keenum playing quarterback. That is interesting. And Eli Manning retired, and they're not going Daniel Jones. Well, maybe just give him maybe another year. I don't know. And then we got the Ravens, Tyreek Hill, in this team tied up at seven against the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen. And now we head back in here to this ball game and start this third quarter. So this Atlanta offense is framing with the run. Really hasn't been on. They have been throwing it all over the place, but running the game, they have not. We have shut down Devontae Freeman. You gotta we gotta beat this team. We gotta at least have one spot where we shut them down. There's so many games where we played them where they have just everything working offensively. So at least we got something where we're shutting uh, one of the parts down. So second and 10, and that's going to be knocked away incomplete. Nice play by the DB there to knock that one away and bring up a third and 10. So Ryan in the pocket, plenty of time. Looking down the field, nobody open. Very good coverage. Going to just dump it down to Julio Jones, but we are there to make the tackle as Haley. So good coverage down the field, not allowing Ryan to go uh, deep down, try to pick up the first. Defense gets the stop, and here comes our offense. As Cam's going to dump this one off to... Christian McCaffrey, he's got the first down. He's up to the 33-yard line. And that was the throw last year in the playoffs what Cam could not make. So every time I see that throw now, just make sure it just brings back bad memories as that is going to be Scarlett with the carry, trying to pick up what he can. But after a penalty, we got a second and 15 as Cam's going to take this one off himself. This time he will slide down before taking the heat a hit. And he picks up. Decent amount of yards, picks up 11, so third and short now, so it makes it a little bit more manageable. We'll dump it down to McCaffrey, who has the first down and more, but we have another flag, and it's going to be another holding here, and it's going to be on Trey Smith again. So instead of a first down, we have a third and 14 now, back at the 29. Cam looking, rolling, trying to find something. Another flag on the play. That throw is not even close intended for Greg Olson, and it's going to be another holding call here. On Trey Smith again. So he's having some struggles in this ball game. That one's going to be declined, so it won't count. But still, three holding calls on Trey Smith in this ball game. But anyway, we have to punt because of the incompletion. And now a nice screen pass here to Freeman. And he's got some room to run. Missed tackles left and right. But once again, another flag. And it's going to be a holding call at Atlanta. So flags coming out like crazy here in this ball game. And it's really, a, you know, making a huge deal. As they said, what happened with a first down, but it's a third and four, and Matt Ryan is picked off by Luke Keekley, and he's in for the score. Like I said, changes the game. They would have had a first down, really good uh, field position, but third and four, picked off by Keekley, runs it in for the score, and now we have a 10 point ball game. We have the lead here by 10, so now. This is the best we've seen here. Now we have a chance to shut down this Atlanta team, get something on offense, and get the uh, get some more points on the board. But Freeman has a good run there, picks up the first. And from the 42, Ryan is going to be picked off by Shaq Thompson. Penalty on the play, and he's going to take off. And Matt Ryan, you're not going to be able to catch him. That's going to be a touchdown, but we'll see what the flag is. It's going to be a holding on the offense. And that's going to stand. Another pick six, back-to-back -back pick sixes. And now it puts us up to a 17-point lead. Nice read by Shaq Thompson. Just reads that perfectly. Picks this one off. 
breaks off the tackle there. And yeah, Matt Ryan, you are not going to be able to keep up with him. Goes in for the score. 31 14. Do we finally, is this finally the time we get this uh, monkey off our back and beat the Falcons? As now Simmons comes in with a nice play, brings down Freeman. And it's going to bring up a third and nine here from the 26. Is Ryan looking up the seam? Caught! First down. You know this Atlanta team's not going to go away. They can put up some points fairly quickly. So even though we have this 17 point lead, it's not like we have the guaranteed win yet. So Ryan, he's going to find Julio Jones. Catch first down up to the 28. Like I said, they can just move the ball very quickly. And just like that, they're already in a scoring range, a field goal range. Second and 13. Single back is going to be Freeman Carey. He's going nowhere. Brian Burns with a stop. A flag on the play. Another holding call. Holding calls are crazy. Actually, we're going to decline that one. We'll take the stop. And it's going to bring up a third and 16. Ryan looking. That's going to be Clay with the catch. He's going to be close. And it's just going to be short. So fourth and inches. Atlanta's going to take the field goal attempt here. And we get a break on the ball. We just come close to blocking it. But the kick is up. It is good. Back to a 14-point ball game. One minute left here in the third. So we gotta we gotta have some good drives here. Waste some clock, pick up some points, finish this ball game out, and that'll help with the run game, that is for sure. As we move in now into the fourth quarter. First and ten. Read option here by Cam. He's gonna take it. He's gonna power through and carry some guys. Deion Jones and Tack McKinley for the first down up to the 45 yard line. Just keep the clock rolling. That's what we gotta do. Second and eight. Perfect throw by Cam. To find Curtis Samuel, catch first down up to the 30-yard line. So first and 10. Watch out, blitz coming. Cam, watch out. And he's going to be brought down for the sack as that is Martin. Now, they actually brought the DB blitz on the other side as well. That's why we're kind of backing up. But that's going to be a big-time loss and bring up a second and 25. As now Cam's going to look to throw. He's going to find DJ Moore for the catch up to the 20-yard line. So nice job there. Picking up around 17 yards. And now brings up a third and eight. Cam looking. He's going to find Greg Olson. Just being a little bit conservative with it. Catch. That's going to put us in field goal range. We'll pick up three. Put this back to 17. We wasted a lot of clock there. Around five minutes. And now let's let our defense go to work. Because Brian Burns is in there for the sack. Back to the 17 yard line. 7 40 left in this ball game. Ryan on third and 14, and that's going to be a stop. But they're going to probably go for it here, uh, you know, down 17. So here we go, fourth and five from the 30. Ryan looking, he's going to dump it off to Freeman, but Del Pitt is there for the stop. Huge stop, and now we're in prime position to take this ball game here. Just make sure you don't fumble the ball. First and 10, hand it off to Jordan Scarlett up the middle. He's close to a first down of the 24, just a tad short. Second and one, back to McCaffrey on the ground. First down and more. He's going to be all the way down to the eight. They'll see the nine-yard line gain of 15. And that's going to let us run even more clock off as we get it to a third and goal from the seven. As Cam is just going to do a read a QB draw here. Not going to work out in our favor, but runs even more clock off. We'll kick another field goal. And that's going to put us up 17. And that would be the ball game. We've finally done it. It's taken us four games against this Atlanta Falcons team. But we have finally, finally beaten them here in Atlanta. And now instead of going 1-2, and two, we've just put them to 1-2. and two, And we get that division game back. So, wow. Finally. <laughs> it's about time. You see Atlanta did add a touchdown. Uh, right there at the end with about 10 seconds left. But it did not matter. We get the victory. 37-24. Finally, Cam was actually pretty good. McCaffrey over 100 yards. He ran well as well with 45, did Cam. But made some good throws. He was under duress a decent amount of the game. Curtis Samuel had the best of the game, that is for sure. With DJ Moore, only had only had that one catch. But Dell Pitt making the great tackle. And the interception... Uh, of uh, both Keekley and Shaq Thompson. I mean, that's really your your ball game. The two defensive back-to-back -back pick sixes absolutely did it for us. 
exactly what we need. Not used to getting the luck like that against this Atlanta team. Usually they just seem to always end on, up on top. But we finally got this done. And really huge victory. Like I said, with the schedule coming up, we got a lot of guys here with upgrades. So our schedule coming up here, it's going to be a bye week here, um, which we'll probably just sim through here real quick. But we got the bye week coming up. But we'll see that we'll take a look at this schedule, and it's it's kind of brutal the next four or five games. As Trey Smith, see the plays, almost getting close to what we'll see his development. Had a rough game there uh, with two penalties and really three, but one doesn't count. And he just had a bit of a rough game, but that's okay. You're gonna have the Sunday games uh, with his rookie linemen as long as we can make sure it's you know more consistent down the road, and we can really. Uh, boost him up and be, you know, integral part of this line. You know, that's why we traded and, and, and we got him in the starting lineup. So that's why we got him there. Greg Little gets himself a point. So we can have decent backups like him. That's good too. Christian Miller, I wish I could use him more. It's just so tough. There's so many guys. Uh, we'll have to definitely look more into um, formation subs and really try to get some of these guys involved. We'll take a look at scouting here. Get to... Uh, Definitely look at ends and tackles for sure. It's definitely our weakest point. Obviously, we traded for Oak and Joby. We have Lawrence, obviously, who's going to be a mainstay. But we need maybe that other end. I'm not sure really I'm sold yet on Willie Henry or um, Kim Dietschy or Marcus Hunt. Uh, you know, not really sure, but really want to see if there's any guys here because that might be the pick, what I'm thinking. Or possibly corner. We'll have to take a look at that as well. Uh, we definitely need depth at corner. And everything else right now that I can think of, it's not really a whole lot. I would say offensively looking towards the draft, I think we're good. We, you know, obviously we got our quarterback, we got our backup quarterback, we got receivers, we got line. Um, obviously, maybe tight end if Olsen retires, Ian Thomas could step in, but maybe look at tight end defensively. Yeah, we got to look at the defensive front. That is for sure, and definitely corners. As we got some negotiations here. As we get into the bye week now, so we can renegotiate with Cam. Obviously, he wanted more signing bonus. Uh, let's just up that bonus for sure. We'll get it up to around a contract of three years and around $93.5 million. Let's see if Cam likes that. That'll put him up to around 34 years old. And he likes it. Cam's back for three more years, and we got him. As now, with the bye week... Let's just take a look at the standings. We'll look at some statistics as well. So Bengals, Ravens right now at 2-1 with Pittsburgh at 0-3. Colts at 3-0. So they don't even need Andrew Luck. They're just doing it right now. Looks like defensively, only allowing 62 points for through the first three games. You have the Jets and Patriots at 2-1. Chiefs at 3-0. So they beat came back and beat the Chargers in that game. Chargers at 2-1. The North, the Bears, Packers, Lions all at 2-1 here so far. South were 2 and 1, Falcons, Bucks and Saints at 1 and 2. So it'll be interesting to see that Saints team obviously no Drew Brees. Cowboys 2 and 1, Redskins 2 and 1, Giants 2 and 1. That's Cowboys team we will see in the next week. 49ers and Seahawks right now at 3 and 0. Rams 0 and 3, interesting. Taking a look at some stats, Cam with five touchdowns, McCaffrey only with 251, but he's averaging over 5 a carry, so I'll take that. No touchdowns. Just never can seem to get any touchdowns. Ruggs actually tied with DJ Moore with the league lead in uh, team lead in a reception. So maybe with Ruggs, we can think about getting a offensive rookie of the year. Maybe I know it's going to be tough with Tua, and you know the quarterbacks. It's just going to be rough to get anything with there. So maybe who knows? And maybe with Del Pitt, we can get a defensive rookie of the year. Maybe sweep that category. Who knows? We'll see as the season progresses. So Jacob Eason for that Colts team just killing it. Seven touchdowns. They're so far uh, unbeaten. So he is looking good. Take a look around the rest of the league. Looks like um, Herbert not too bad with five touchdowns. Nick Foles and Bridgewater and Prescott right now in the lead with nine. Bunch of guys there with eight. A couple guys have yet to throw an interception with Carr and Roethlisberger have thrown four at the moment. As looking at the rushing here, just your normal names obviously, but man, some of the guys average around six a carry in this. I mean, it's early. You're only a few games in, but seriously, Barkley with six touchdowns. Kareem Hunt, 7.3 a carry. Jeez. Seven yards a carry. What is this, college? Wow. Already, yeah, Barkley with six touchdowns. I mean, we're only three games in. What is he going to do? You can see Ruggs there actually second in the league in yards at the moment. 
So he's had obviously a couple big games. Um, why well, I just gotta say he has really been a surprise, and he's almost been the most consistent receiver. You know, coming down with some nice catches, he's been outstanding. Really can't complain about him. That's turning out to be a really good draft pick with Colin Johnson, a guy we were looking at, but obviously went too far up. He's got five touchdowns right now to lead the league. So three games, five touchdowns. He's killing it. And you can see Grant Delpit actually leading the league in tackles. So that's awesome. Keekly is close there. So that is definitely cool to see. So hopefully we can have those two guys up there leading the league in tackles. I know it's not really a stat most people really care about. But, I, I mean, obviously, I uh, always loved it back in the day. You know, that was always one of my favorite stats. You know, Ray Lewis was up there. But, you know, you would get, like, Zach, Zach Thomas with the Dolphins. I mean, these guys would get close to around 200 tackles a year. It was always crazy. Just thought it was cool always to try to lead in total tackles. And hopefully, maybe we can do it this year. We'll see. As we get now into week five and take a look at this schedule. So we got Dallas coming into town, one of the better teams in football. Go to Kansas City, come back home for Los Angeles, and then go back to New Orleans and go to Green Bay. The next five weeks are going to be rough. It's going to be a tough one, and it's really going to show us what kind of team we have. And it's going to start out maybe... Maybe one of the best teams of football right here in the Dallas Cowboys. Their defense is outstanding. They can get to the passer. And obviously with Zeke, they can just run the ball on you. Great offensive line. This is going to be a test. That is for sure. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.